Hi, I'm Dr. Leo Chen from Nexlon Bioscience. Today I am presenting an improved method to measure your cell-mediated cytotoxicity assays using image cytometry. Traditionally, cell-mediated cytotoxicity assays are performed by using release assays such as chromium, LDH, or calcium. Specifically for chromium release, target cells are labeled with chromium-51, washed, and then co-culture with effector cells. As effector cells kill the target cells, chromium is released into the supernin and is measured to determine the cell-mediated cytotoxicity. However, the problems with this method is that it is hazardous and it indirectly measures the cells through supernin. It only allows an endpoint measurement and requires a significant amount of cells. In contrast, the image cytometry method images and analyzes captured images directly from the wells. Using an alternative label such as calcium AM can stain live target cells. Bright field and fluorescent images are acquired and the calcium stained live target cells are counted at different time points to measure cell mediated cytotoxicity. This method is non-toxic and directly counts cells in each well. It also allows for time course measurement and uses 20 times fewer cells than the release assays, making it more suitable for precious cell types. To perform a PBMC mediated cytotoxicity assay using K562 target cells, first, collect your target cells and stain with calcium AM. Then see the cells in the 96 wall plate. Second, add the PBMC effector cells at different E to T ratios with IL2. Third, co-culture the K562 and PBMCs for 4 hours, and finally, image and count live target cells over time using the Saligo image cytometer. The reduction in cell counts are used to calculate percent lysis, which showed increasing cell-mediated cytotoxicity as E to T ratio increased. The fluorescent images show the number of calcium-positive target cells decreased as E to T ratio increased with PBMCs. The time course results show an increase in cell-mediated cytotoxicity over the 4-hour period, which is confirmed in the corresponding fluorescent images. In comparison to chromium release assay, the image cytometry method is non-toxic, directly counts cells, allows time course measurement, and uses significantly fewer cells. There are many peer-reviewed publications using Saligo image cytometer to perform cell-mediated cytotoxicity assays. For more information on performing cell-mediated cytotoxicity assays using image cytometry, please contact us at nexalum.com.